director Makoto Shinkai has an impressive track record. And with the release of Suzume, it's a perfect opportunity to rank his films. Shinkai's anime films are known for their heavy focus on character drama and romance, with the latter often being bittersweet and ending in failure. While Shinkai's work didn't gain significant international recognition until the success of Your Name, he has since become one of the most recognizable names in anime, with even his past work receiving a newfound attention and praise. Here's a ranking of Shinkai movies from worst to best. Starting off our list with the movie Voices of a Distant Star. Voices of a Distant Star was Makoto Shinkai's fourth short film. And unfortunately, it's easily his weakest. All the hallmarks of his work are on the full display here. But the movie speeds through them so fast that there's no time for any of it to be utilized in a meaningful way. Even worse is how ugly the art and animation are from start to finish. And it all comes together to make a film seem like a parody of Shinkai's work. A lot of the film's shortcomings could be attributed to how Shinkai made it entirely on his own. But it still stands as one of his weakest films. On the next number, the film is The Place Promised in Our Early Days. The Place Promised in Our Early Days was Makoto Shinkai's first feature length film, and it very tellingly falls flat. Shinkai's signature art style and character work are much better executed here, so it's easier to get invested in the story. But it's that set story that drags things down and causes it to rank so low. The main romance is underdeveloped and while it starts off as a charming slice of life story, the second half suddenly becomes an action story with sci-fi elements far too underexplained for how high the stakes suddenly become. What's left is a movie that's disjointed in a plot and overall failing at showing off what makes Shinkai's work great. On the 10th number, the movie is Other Worlds. With a runtime of about 2 minutes, there isn't much to say about Other Worlds, and that's both a positive and a negative way. The short film is nothing but a couple promising to be together, but with how Makoto Shinkai uses shading and his music, he's able to get a great deal of emotion across to the audiences. So it's still able to leave an impact despite its short length. Of course, the short length also means that there isn't much of anything to get attracted to and that ends up marking it hard to rank it highly, even when compared to Shinkai's other short films. On the next number, the movie is Mina no Uta Egao. Mina no Uta is a TV and radio program that's been running in Japan since 60s and is often used to promote new singers and animators. And in 2003, this included a music video of Hiromi Iwasai's Egao, made by Makoto Shinkai himself. The music video shows the simple story of a woman bonding with her pet hamster. And like Shinkai's other short films, the short length of it makes it really hard to get invested into it. That being said, Egao is nothing but charming with its animation and depiction of how important the hamster becomes to the woman. So even if there isn't much there, it's still certainly worth watching. On the next number, the movie is She and Her Cat. She and Her Cat was the short film that drew the attention of Comics Wave Films, which is Makoto Shinkai's primary animation studio, and it's very telling why. Just like with Shinkai's other short films, She and Her Cat is brought down by its length, as it makes it really hard for anyone to get fully developed. That being said, the simplicity of its story of the love between a cat and its owner is executed masterfully, and the use of shading with the simplistic art styles adds a level of beauty not seen in Shinkai's other short films. All in all, it's easy to see why this film helped kickstart Shinkai's career. On the seventh number, the movie is The Garden of the Words. The Garden of Words, despite its strong points, is rather hard to rank highly. The art, animation, and music are all incredible, and Takao and Yukino have a very engaging dynamic where it's easy to see why they matter so much to each other, even if their personal struggles end up being somewhat underdeveloped. The biggest problem with this film, however, is how Takao falls in love with Yukino. The issue being that Takao's a high schooler and Yukino's his teacher. Yukino explicitly never returned his feelings, but the unfortunate implications are still there and how well someone can ignore it will be the deciding factor in their overall enjoyment. On the next number, the movie is Someone's Gaze. Of all the Makoto Shinkai's short film, Someone's Gaze does the best job of encapsulating the Makoto Shinkai's strength in a small amount of time. The story is a simple one of a father and a daughter growing distance from each other. But Shinkai does a great job of fleshing out their dynamics and individual characters so that everything they do comes off as refreshingly real and makes their resolution feel well deserved. Add in Shinkai's usual stellar music and visuals and someone's gaze is easily best of Shinkai's short films, even if it is brought down by its runtime. 
ultimately it ranks in the middle of the pack on the fifth number the movie is 5 cm per second 5 cm per second is one of the movies that for better or worse does one of the better jobs of showcasing makoto shinkai's style while not as great as his late works the music and the visuals are both top notch and despite the short run time the writing does a lot to add emotional weight to all of the takaki and akari's actions that somewhat works against the movie however as despite everything the movie ends up with the protagonist not simply getting together It's a surprisingly realistic conclusion though and that realism is a part of movie strength but that sort of sore note can make it hard to watch on the fourth number the movie is suzume makoto shinkai suzume is his most recent film and it serves as one of his best suzume uses the 2011 tohoku earthquake as a backdrop for its story and not only it is nothing but respectful towards that tragedy but it also uses it to tell a beautiful story of a overcoming loss that makes it easy to relate to every character this is especially true for the tutelar protagonist and suzume's strong character development that makes her one of the shinkai's best protagonists yet suzume also has an ending that anime fans will be discussing for some time Unfortunately, Suzume is brought down by the lack of development for its romance and some of the story elements, but overall, it's still a great film to watch, earning it a high ranking. On the third number, the movie is Children Who Chase Lost Voices. Children Who Chase Lost Voices is very different from Makoto Shinkai's usual work, and that works tremendously in its favor. While Shinkai typically deals with urban fantasy, Children Who Chase Lost Voices is a full-on fantasy story that takes clear inspiration from Studio Ghibli with its music, character designs, monsters, and themes of nature and life. That can make this movie feel unoriginal, but Shinkai is able to create a story that stands out on its own with his signature character work creating a beautiful story about loss and loneliness. It's not the kind of story Shinkai is known for, but it's still worth watching. more than earning it a high rank on this second number the movie is your name your name made makoto shinkai a household name in the anime industry and it's easy to see why the art and animation are always incredible and radwim's soundtrack does an amazing job of heightening every emotional movement to its peak now your name is on the second number but it is brought down by how taki receives for less development than mitsuha and how underdeveloped their relationship is but they are both endearing enough to sell them as a couple but it makes their getting together nothing but satisfying especially with what shinkai was known for the time 7 years after its release and it's still easy to see why your name is held in a such high standard and finally on the first number the movie is weathering with you makoto shinkai has made many great films over the years but the best one is undoubtedly weathering with you Not only does Weathering With You makes Kimi no Nawa's strength even greater with its better visuals and music, but it even improves on its shortcomings of his earlier films. In addition to a far tighter story, Hodaka and Hina gets much better development than Shinkai's other leads, resulting in them being greatly fleshed out as both a couple and as individual characters. That improved character work makes the emotional styling of Shinkai's writing shine as brightly as possible. And as a result, Weathering With You is Makoto Shinkai's best film to date. Makoto Shinkai is an acclaimed director for a reason. And though not all of his experiments can rank highly, most of them are well worth watching. What are your thoughts about this video? Which film is your favorite? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know the name of that movie in the comment section down below. And that's it for today's video guys. If you enjoyed, please definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel for more anime related content and top 10 list. And also don't forget to like this video. And that's it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.